just went and ran it out of hers The devil and his keys and I'm sitting in reverse About to back up on my life and make it worse Dealing with disease and I know I can't be cured I'm certain, I'm uncertain and I'm certainly unsure No sir, I assure you it's a circus over her This ain't church Climb into the canopy, I'm winding up the family tree It's nuts, but I think the family's cursed Whoa, widow, lost a father and a husband We are back with the one and only 21 Pilots That's right, listen, no long intros today, guys I am well aware they have a brand new music video It is overcompensate, we're gonna dive into this one But before we get any further, listen, if you like the hat that I'm wearing Brand new, out now, knoxhillmusic.com Limited edition, while supplies last I think I only got like 15 left They're already about to sell out So if you wanna get one, cop yours, support the channel directly I'll put the link to that below Also, if you like the song in the intro, a great way to support the channels by checking out my music i will put the link to that below too but anyways anyways no we're here for 21 pilots silver to the plate let's see what you got oh well that just seemed unnecessary to mess up my beautiful piano Uh, nah, da, 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 nah. I don't know why. I feel like I'm a part of a Shakira track gone wrong. Just the way that that ritmo hits for a second. But it's like really distorted out, isn't it? Underneath. Very interesting. Always experimental with the sounds and styles of 21 Pilots. So I want to see where we go. Is that German? Okay, podemos usarlo, that we are able to use it. I can't hear it because it's like really, really down in the mix, but that was wild. We went from German to French to Spanish. I wonder what that means. Welcome back to trash. Was that Dama? That was Dama. It looked like the walls of Dama. Welcome back to Trench. So we're re so we're staying in the world of Trench. Okay. Welcome back to Trench. I am so behind on my lore, but it's all right. I created this world to feel some control. Tyler is channeling his just godlike reflections right now, but obviously he's talking about, yeah, the lore in the world of Drench and everything, so we're walking back into it, but he's dressed up as blurry face to me, and then we've talked about how colors are very important, right? Like the yellow with the danger and how the different colors are used symbolically throughout the world. And again, I'm trying to like go back in time. I wish I would have done like a refresher on things, but the red to me is obviously, you know, danger, blood, war could be conflict. Let's see where we go. Cause to me, that's that line right there. Destroy it. If I want, right. I'm the, I'm the creator at the end of the day. If I want to just unleash destruction, I can, there's a certain, you know, there's a narcissism in that, but there's a cathartic feeling to that as well of being a creator and being an artist and you know being able to create something beautiful but at the same time knowing that you have the power to destroy that beauty too well wow, that's dark let's go and i love how it's bouncing just kind of all over the mix like super atmospheric just like setting the mood right now it's like haunting it's like a voice in our heads Safolina? What language is that? Oh, okay. Track 
my stripes 300 tracks in my adidas track jacket at to the at i love the sort of internal cadets rhyme schemes there just like a total just vibe switch up right there when we got more hip-hop for a second even as he walks out he's got a little bit of a swagger to jump into this like adidas earning my stripes like a veteran earning the stripes in the world of tretch right versus like the tracks adidas track jackets running around the track versus tyler on these tracks and the 3,000 tracks and all the time and grind that he's put into this. Even that little, uh, like there's like shouting. It's almost like it feels like a battle, doesn't it? Wait, what, wait, what? You just hear like just noise, just like people arguing and yelling in the back. Don't sleep on a boy who could fall asleep twice. That's a strange line. It's interesting. In my eyes, don't sleep on a boy who can fall asleep. He's a dreamer. I take that as. But also like being like a zombie. Because again, like you have these uh, these allegories and these draws upon the world of Tretch. Don't you? And like being like 1984 Orwellian-esque, right? In terms of government control. And like we're all kind of sleepwalking. You have like the greater you know, critique of the world that we live in today and social media, how it controls us. And maybe we're all sleeping in a sense, like we're all a part of this matrix. So to me, there's some layering underneath of that. But I love how he comes out of those rap flows and just kind of smooths it out and just like harmonizes back to the singing for a second. It's like you get that just mix of kind of aggression and then smooth harmony. I fly by the dangerous Ben symbol. We've talked about this before in 21 Pilots, the uh, Burbaki mathematics, right? The uh, the French group after the World War because so many mathematicians were no longer here. They went and fought in the war and they died. So this group got together and they created modern mathematics and rules and really dove into the philosophy of it all. And it's well known. It's pretty infamous. So... Tyler has tapped into that world and he's used those references throughout. So the Ben symbol is like danger, incoming. It's almost like World War Z. It's like a sideways, like weird diagonal Z, isn't it? And that's always to indicate like this is going to get complicated. This is going to get tricky, right? Put your hard hats on, boys and girls. Here we go. Come up with Josh Dunn. We just broke the fourth wall and inserted Josh into it right there. But then he's still playing this fictional character of Clancy, born right before your eyes because we're creating this in the moment. He removes the blurry face and then reveals who he is now. It's almost like a switch up to personality, I feel like, an identity. Dunn, run it, Josh Dunn. Can't see Clancy. Notice how he's condensing those internal rhymes. See, I am Clancy. Product of sun done running. Come up with Josh done. One and dead of lives. And now you pick who you serve. You bow to the masses. Get. What the hell was that noise? I don't know. That was really dope. It just like got higher pitch and like slid off and echoed out to the side of the mix right there. Obviously, you have those keys that are kind of haunting. I love it. There seems to be a lot of clashing, right? Of like heavier harder percussive stuff this sort of hip-hop charisma and aggressive swagger to it and then underneath you have like these smooth keys these smooth pianos and then these other moments that it's just like harmony clashing with friction and sort of that coming together on this track i just get the vibes from the production aspect of things the 
pick who you serve. Da 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 asses. So he's got nice little like A internal rhymes to external B rhymes. Great setup the there. Get kicked to the curb for passing the glasses. Have kicked to the curb, passing the classes. It to the er, ass to the asses. That's a lot of ass going around right there. Make that booty clap. You guys know what I mean, though. I'm talking about the rhyme schemes and the way he sets it up. Line for line rhyme writing. Very good poetic meter. Just get kicked to the curb for passing the classes. Half empty, half full, save half of your taxes. Then overtake your former self. Kick to the curb for passing classes. That feels like a little bit of sort of like self-deprecation there. Like, he's obviously a smart guy. I feel like... That's a little bit of breaking the fourth wall in a sense, but also talking about, you know, greater societal issues and things. And, you know, oftentimes the really smart ones end up getting kicked to the curb and getting looked aside. And they're the overthinkers. And then they start to doubt themselves and you start to have this spiral out of control. And then for me, what's really interesting is he talks about glass half full and half empty, which, you know, most of us know in a popular idiom. But then he says, save half for your taxes. So it's almost like we're having an ideological debate over here and we're getting philosophical, but then he's got to be a realist and he's got to come back to the real world and go, well, let's just take that abstract half and make sure you save that because obviously you're going to have to pay your taxes and you're going to have to pay your dues within the institution and society you live in. Save half of your taxes, then overtake your former self. I fly by the dangerous band symbols. He don't hesitate. I guess the big question for me is what are we overcompensating? Because there could be so many different themes we're touching on. Are we overcompensating from the last dive into the world of treach? Are we overcompensating for this rebellion? Are we overcompensating for ourselves and our own identities? Oh, camera, hang with me. Don't hesitate to maybe overcompensate. Pulling out the Spanish again with a chorus song, but the years seem way too short for my soul. That's an interesting perspective. That's almost, dare I say, optimistic in a sense. It's cynical, but it's optimistic. Glass half full, half empty, flipping that, and we're upside down in this world. Because it sucks that the years are getting so short, but at the same time, you. Why do they feel so short? You must be valuing life in your time that's here with the days. That was a cool little crossover through the legs basketball choreography you did there. What? Who's that? Why did his eyes just glow right there with the antlers? That's not weird at all. I'm gonna have a ritualistic sacrifice. Have we returned? Because he said at the beginning we returned to the land of trench. Have we returned to Dama, maybe? Oh, as always, I feel like more questions than answers are given with 21 pilots. But obviously, you know, the jackets reflecting the same jackets and attire that we had previously, except instead of the yellow, it's the reds now. Obviously, you had different, like, on the projector of Demo right there in the different worlds. It's like we're kind of bringing the lore together and we're diving back in. But for me, the biggest question that's asked here is the overcompensation. And what is that overcompensation? And I love the production on this. Like I said, just that clash of sort of harmony and even with his singing with more like the aggressive undertones of the rap and the harder percussive hits from josh and just like bringing those worlds together and just some of those like random noises that are super spacey and just like put you in a different type of headspace man always love the lyricism from 21 pilots i love that they've created this world that they bring us into and it goes so much deeper and really it's up to your interpretation of it and how you take it. And it's not just Tyler's interpretation. I think that's a beautiful thing about the art. But let's see where we go from here.
21 pilots, you are Knoxville so certified. Hope you guys like today's video. Listen, for some reason, you're here at the end. Obviously, enjoying the content to me. Huge favorite support channel directly. Subscribe, notifications on. Really, really does go a long way. I love you guys. Stay safe, stay positive. Smiley Knoxville. You know I'll catch you again.